Hello, everyone. Welcome. Happy New Year. I'm so excited that 2023 is here and that we are, you know, getting to kick off this year um, in a positive way. We've got lots of things going on um, this month um, with the new um, update or just kind of the detox. So if you missed Mary Drake's call last night, she did a great masterclass on the detox. Um, and that's going to be working in conjunction with our detox challenge that Jamie is going to be hosting um, that we don't really know all the details yet, but it's coming. Um, but just so you were you know, reminded that the detox is still 30% off with the um, as a retail only customer or retail only order. And then if you put in the detox as the code, it'll discount 30% for you and your customers. So promote that. The free product of the month is um, our peppermint. Um, it's the refreshing foot balm with peppermint and pine. And if you have anybody who's placing orders for 229 or higher, um, they'll get that at no cost. It's a full size, um, uh, it's a full size, size product. And then also, as you know, we get the Moss and Plum Productive Serum um, for orders over $99. So just FYI, which is super awesome. Um, those are great to give away as, um, as giveaways, as you know, customer samples, things like that. Um, so, and then also stay tuned because I know there was an email that went out about our social media platforms on Facebook. Um, just make sure you're like looking for Discover Good Living again. Make sure that you're, you know, following Jamie and um, Herbal Alchemy on Instagram, Facebook, um, all those social media platforms. But let's get started because here's what this training is going to be today. It's going to be about social media content and how to prep yourself for 2023 and beyond. Um, you know, we know the algorithms change throughout, um, you know, the years um, and different months. It could be different weeks and different, you know, days that different algorithms are adjusted within the platforms. But we don't know what those are going to be. We don't know when they're going to change. We don't know any of how they do things. But here's what we do know. We do know that you need to be posting content on a regular basis because people need to know what you're offering, what you're doing, what your products are, you know, what promotions are going on. They just want to know from about you and what you're doing. So you need to feed them info. You need to feed them content. So if you're like me, um, I get, I rack my brain and I get stressed and overwhelmed about what to post. So I don't know what to post. Um, so I need ideas. I'm always looking for ideas of where can I go and get information or what would be the good thing to, to post. So Couple places and couple things to note is first, your fully activate you vault is a place you could start. So your direct to corporate leaders, um, that's myself, it's Mary, it's Beth and Samantha have come together and created this website to help you work your business, make it easier to work your business. It's an outlet of information that you can come to these, these trainings. Um, but we have a vault for um, of all information, whether it's, you know, daily mode of operation information, what to post, content, images, photos, trainings, all the things. So if you're unfamiliar with that, you can go to our fully, um, fullyactivateyou.com page. The password to log in is the same password you use to get onto this training. It's become, lowercase, one word, and it logs you in. And then you'll see on the top that you can go in um, there's a drop down menu to go to vault the trainings and things like that. So start there. But there's a lot of other places that you can use. Um, but here's why I want you to go there is we uploaded the documents and the 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 planner, if you will, up to this page to our, our fully activate you page. It's going to be under the DMO daily mode of operations, because this is what you're going to want to do daily. Um, and if you get so organized, you can do this on a once a month to plan out your whole entire month. Maybe you do it on Sundays where you plan out your week of what you're going to post for content because you can schedule things, which is the, like a great thing to be able to schedule. Facebook is awesome with that. You can schedule. Um, and you can save things in drafts and Instagram and go into your draft and then upload it on a daily basis. So whichever way you feel is going to best suit you and your schedule, do it. Just do something. So... Um, we uploaded all these documents. I'm going to go through some of them, but just so you know, this is not the only end all be all place too. You can go to Pinterest. You can go to Google. Um, there's a lot of different places you can find content, but, um, and then the other thing too is follow Jamie if you, or follow um, Herbal Alchemy on Instagram and Facebook, because there's a lot of people who do not 
follow them. They may not be familiar. They're not ready. They don't know all the things um, that they need to know, but you can go there, grab content and repurpose it. So here's what my big thing that I'm going to share with you guys today is work smarter and not harder because we all have so many things going on. But I reuse Jamie's posts a lot because I'm like, I don't know what, this is what I was doing. I don't know what to post. So I'll pull something because it's great info. There's great images. It's beautifully done. I'll copy and paste the, the wording um, and put it into like my customer. I have a, you know, an ATM page. And we'll put that there. I'll change up. I'll add some hashtags. I'll, you know, do at everyone. So if you have a private group, at everyone, notifies everyone that there's a post that you want them to be aware of. So, um, so here's what I want to do. And there's one more thing too that I wanted to share, which I think is really a brilliant thing. So do you know how every, like every once in a while you'll see, oh, it's national, like clean off your day, um, you know, clean off your day, day, um, clean off your desk, sorry, clean off your desk day. Um, so things like that, I've always wondered where you get those. So it's called nationaltoday.com. So if you go to that website, you're going to be able to see the months of um, different kind of content or just kind of like what the national day of blah, blah, blah is. So what's the, what's chocolate day, national chocolate day or Tomorrow, one of the cool things I saw is tomorrow is National Human Trafficking Awareness Day, January 11th. So we need to be posting about how MI, Herbal Alchemy offers or, or utilizes or takes a little bit of our proceeds and puts it towards our child trafficking or, you know, our, for globally. So um, that's something we want to post about tomorrow because, and then to hashtag that. That gets some more interest of other people going, oh, what's that hashtag? hashtag? Or that's a great hashtag and people will be following that. So those are just some things to give you some ideas. But here's what I want us to have you guys start with is I want you to start, um, let me see if I can quickly share this. Um, I'm gonna do this. Sorry about that. Share the screen. So this is gonna be part of, there's a 38 page um, planner um, and it's a whole bunch of things. I'm just gonna kind of go through but I wanna to go to page 19. So the yearly planner, um, actually let's go to content. Let me see, where's the content? Sorry, I wanted to go to content. All right, well, anyway, we're gonna stop. We're just gonna, I'm gonna, there we go. Content ideas. I want you to take this, I want you to print it out. So download the whole file, go to page 21 and download this. So this is my ideas of content. So here are some things that I wanna tell you what I would do. Biz off, it's about business opportunities. Detox, brain activation, collagen, joint pain, hair loss, questions of the day. These are ideas that you wanna put on your desk in front of you and go, what would I wanna talk about today, this week, this month? You know, body lotion bars, um, why waterless? Um, arise, um, you know, the body oils. What's oil cleansing? Um, you know, making extra money. What's a nootropic? Because we have brain activation recipes, the Dead Sea Magma, the Dead Sea Mask, um, you know, beeswax or bees, farm fresh. What does that mean? Or what does all natural skincare really mean? Um, you can go down to specific things like lavender, the herbs, um, you know, the kombucha, you know, rose um, uh, toner, but you can also do flower essence. Um, but that's, you know, brain fog, time freedom, sleep, all the different balms and things. But write it down. And I would say write it down so that with a pen and paper so that you start taking action, that you know that it's, when you write it down sometimes, it just brain, you know, burns something into your brain of like, okay, yeah, what about this? And then your juices start flowing, whether you're typing it up or not, but just put that out there. So the other thing was going to yearly. Let's go into this yearly uh, planner. So this yearly planner, I printed out. I'm printing everything out because I want it in front of me on my desk while I'm on my computer. But one of the cool things is I put on there, I put social media content calendar. And this is for me, um, but I want you to do the same. So every month, one, start with, I missed it in January, but I'm starting with February. Is start with, you know how we do hello January, hello February, hello 2023, whatever that is. Um, I recommend you do one for every month of the year. So for February, hello, Valentine's Day month, like hello, February. But each month, have something kick it off so you know what that theme can be for the month. St. Patrick's Day is in March. Easter is in April. Spring is in May. June is summer. 
spring is here. Fourth of July in July, back to school for August. September happens to be my birthday month, so it's my birthday month. Um, you know, giveaways, fun content. But whatever your birthday month is, make that the fun month or a combination of something. October is Halloween, then Thanksgiving, and then December is obviously Christmas. Um, but start making those content. Start looking for things. You have them ready to go, a folder in your computer of like monthly first day of the month posts. But then go in and look at that content that you wrote down and start filling it in to your year, your monthlies. So for Valentine, you know, for this month, it's detox, it's a rise, you know, it's a nootropic, you know, all that kind of stuff. Then for February, think about for Valentine's, think of pounce, the body oil, nootropic, because it's a brain activator, you know, brain activation, but it's also helps with libido, that kind of thing. But think of things you can go, okay, that could be the theme for that month. So you're starting to already think about, I need to make content or get content for those specific months. So it's work, but it's work for your business because you're making a change. You are actually feeding into your social media content. You have to do activity. So there's another thing that I did to help you think about, you know, we think about all these things of like what the month is for say January, it's detox, it's new beginnings arise. So I created these, I made, and again, these are all uploaded to our fully activate you vault under the Trillo boards. And this is going to be under their DMO daily mode of operation. But I made two versions of this in one with block or one. This is kind of like my script and kind of really simplistic. And then I did another one because I'm just kind of weird. I made these like a year ago, but these are like um, this more block. You can just print these out and put them in front of you. But here's what they are. It's a social media weekly schedule. So I was having challenges of figuring out what would I want to do for Monday on Tuesday. But here's what I came up with and change it up, make it your own, whatever, but, or use this. So Monday, motivational Monday. So think of things that you have a, inspire, an inspiring quote, um, goals and dreams. Like you want to motivate people to take action. You know what? You know, it's the beginning of the week. What do you got going on? Ask a question. Tuesday, transformation, transformational or tell me something um, Tuesday. So I put on here testimonials and experience of people that are having before and afters, fun facts about skin, health, things like that. Wednesday, what's new and work it Wednesday. So share, share highlighted product that, um, that you haven't posted before. Um, something that's brand new, again, trying to kind of, you know, spice up your social media and then show them how to use a product. So how it work, work it Wednesday. So my thought was, how does it work? How do you use it? Give it a tutorial. Um, Thursday is thankful Thursday or throwback Thursday. So again, switching it up. So thankful Thursday, I was saying to say thank you to a customer, your team, a friend, family. It doesn't have to be about the business. Be, thank you for helping me, you know, pick up the kids last week or the other day, whatever that might be. And then search for old photos. Who doesn't like going back and looking at old photos, even from a year, 10 years, five years, when you're a kid, that kind of thing. Friday could be a freebie Friday or a favorite Friday. So freebie Friday, we all talked about this. Samples sell. Samples in people's hands. Products in people's hands allows them to touch it, feel it, smell it, and experience it. That will get you customers. And it may be getting you, you know, the, the, it's greasing the wheels to get an, a, a, an ambassador on your team. Um, so Freebie Friday, again, say, hey, you know, I'd love for the first, the next five people who want to have never tried my products and want to try my products or you've never tried a specific product, let me know, raise your hand, comment, start those conversations. And then um, a favorite Friday, what's your favorite, you know, it doesn't have to be the product, but favorite restaurant, place, vacation spot, person, cocktail, recipe, whatever that could be. So again, mixing it up, it doesn't always have to be about Herbal Alchemy and our products. And then shout out Saturday is, um, you know, praise your favorite customers, highlight your team, your goals, your wins, that kind of thing. And then I also have one here, it says Soulful Sunday. So people just take off Sunday, but if you wanted to do something that can inspire someone in a spiritual way, faith way, that kind of can be something there too. So um, here, I'm gonna, so that could help you. So again, these are two different options. Download them, print them, put them onto your phone. Um, but those are some things of just giving you 
content and ideas of where to place the content. Um, you know, that was a big thing that I was like, oh, I don't know, today's Tuesday, what should I do? And you always think testimonial Tuesday or, you know, um, you know, transformational Tuesday, but just start making a plan. And maybe you're going to do it in baby steps where it's, I'm going to schedule them on Sundays. So this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, start gathering information, start looking at photos and images. Um, and so one of the things I will tell you is you may love or hate Canva. I know people love it. Like I love it. I've learned to love it. I've learned to educate myself on it and train myself on it, but some people may hate it. But here's what I'll tell you. It is one of the easier use, useful tools, business tools you can utilize for you and creating content. So here's one thing I will tell you as well is you need to learn, we need to brand ourselves. Um, as we just saw how we saw Jamie, she branded herself as MIG. We changed it up a little bit to Herbal Alchemy. We changed the coloring. We changed the branding of our products, uh, the colors, the images, the logo. We also need to brand ourselves so that people are looking for you for knowledge, looking for you for, you know, your product information, your educational understanding of what we're doing at, um, at, at Herbal Alchemy and all that kind of stuff. But you need to start branding yourself. So here's what I want you all to think about is we need help with adding more of the new branded products. And if you've got products that, um, that we have that are not necessarily you know, in the containers, like they're soap bars, let's share these images so we can upload them out into our Fully Activate You page and the Trillo board under products. Let's share the images so that we can start branding. And here's what I say about branding. In Canva, you can pull up a template that it's a social media template. It's an Instagram template, Facebook. They have all these different variations. And I'll try to do a training on this because there's another thing that I was showing Mary last night um, that kind of blew her mind, but it's something that's blown my mind recently. I was watching a TikTok video. You're able to get AI, artificial intelligence, to help word your content and share and then be able to upload it all into Canva. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to go in Canva, look for a free template and be able to go, this is gonna be my template for the next two months, so the next month, for this month. And being able to put in wording of whatever the wording you can see that we have that you wanna share, whatever, but the image. So if we have images that we can all share with each other, we can all help each other. Because I don't have all the photos, of, they don't look always glamorous, but sometimes I don't care. You know what, it's realistic. It's all, you know, I'm not a, professional photographer, but if you were able to, let's all share our photos with new, even old ones, you know, whatever that is, there's lots of content there, but to take a template and make that your template of the month or of all your products. And um, here, I'll give you an example. Hopefully I have it really quickly to show you. Um, and while you're looking, that. Jen, I'm sorry. Maybe. And while you're looking, what you yeah. showed me until I learn it, I know we'll do a, a subsequent training, but using that artificial intelligence to come up with content, what Jen's onto is so cool. I just need to practice it as well. I'm so excited it, about it. It was whole, it was a mind blower and it was a game changer for me. I was like, whoa, this is yeah. pretty intense. So basically what it does is this artificial intelligence. So there, there some of the pages are do cost something. But you type in like, um, here, here, I'm going to show you this and I'll give you the example of what I did. So this is my Canva. So I said, why not you? But I type, this is about my business. This is like a business type of post that I wanted to do, like earning extra money. Cause I'm taking what Bob from the training we heard from him that Stephanie helped get us set up with. It was awesome because he was like how $50 that, that one woman, he gave an example, how $50 changed her life how it changed her mindset that he was like, whoa. So I put that in there. I'm like, all right. So I put in into this AI website, you know, um, you know, owning your own business, but in the things of just some, some topics, I was like entrepreneur or extra money, financial freedom on your own time, that kind of thing with $50 a week help or like a raise. So I put that in there. I click a button and it goes, blah, 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 and it comes up with this wording. 
And I changed a few, a few things like with owning your own business. Uh, but so are you looking for ways to earn extra income? With owning your own business, you can take control of your finances and start earning money from the comfort of your own home with flexible hours and the potential to make an extra $50 a week. Owning your own business offers a great opportunity to supplement your income, help you pay for monthly bills, start, um, start taking control of your finances today by owning your, you know, by owning your own business. So I branded myself with adding this on there. I can do this and upload it without my name on here. But here's what I did. I was able to take all these different variables of the social, the, the AI content, and I was able to plug it into this square on every one of these. All different variations of something to do about starting your own business. How cool would that be if you were able to plug in a few words and have something spit out worded content that's what like something you would typically say. The other one was I'm going to quickly try to see if I can find it um here. This one I did and oh come on little screen. Here it is. Oh wait, no no not that one, sorry. There was another one that I just did that was kind of a cool thing. And I'm just trying to multitask and trying to get prep and, and, and so forth. Um, oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. So this one, and again, I'm going to try to do a training on this. I just want to get a little bit better, you know, educated on it. But here's this one. In. I did lavender soap. I just put lavender soap in my AI website. I was able to say, you know, that it's sent for sensitive skin, clean and so forth. So this one came up with lavender soap. Is so I did this, came up with, I put a new photo in here, kept with the same lavender soap, but came up with a different wording for lavender is a beautiful, calming scent. Same thing here, did it again. Different photos, but the branding is the same. So you see social media influencers, that have the same branding, the same kind of um, rhythm and cadence to what they're posting and what it looks like. So people, oh, that's so beautiful. But you can do that. But that's what I'm saying about branding yourself within your social media content. Um, so um, here, are, there's some other things we did post. But um, Miss Mary, help me get this on photo. I mean, Instagram content calendar. Um, so from share a story. Why not? Um, why you are not doing what you are? Um, why you're not doing what you're doing? You know, why you're not doing what you should be doing? Um, raise a problem, and who can be helped? You know, can, who can help with it? Um, that's the Instagram phase. 12 of the most beautiful questions ever asked. Again, it should be something we should ask questions. You want interaction with people. Um, what would you do if you knew you could not fail? Could you imagine the comments that people would post while, you know, putting that out there? Like, it'd be interesting. Like, what would you, I want to have my own business. I want to be a millionaire. I want to have extra, whatever. The, you just never know. Instagram hashtags. So these are just kind of get your juices flowing. And then I have another one that was um, 120 killer content ideas for social media. It's another one that I posted up there. And then fill your, fill your calendar with different content. So pull some of these down, print them out, put them on your, your desk, and then check them off once you've done these. Oh, I've done that. I've done this. Um, and then on this... Um, and then there's another thing on there I put up there about, a, it's a social media stats. Are you happy with your stats? Are you happy with how many people are engaging on social media? Are you happy with how many people are following you on your social media? If you aren't, put a stake in the ground, put like how many people are following you right now. And then on certain posts, like we know collagen is a bomb. Beth Street, Beth has got an amazing, I'm sorry. Hey, yeah, her collagen post. Her collagen is great. Her blackberry leaf serum is there. They're like two amazing posts. She's getting customers left and right. I got customers left and right for collagen when I posted about hair loss. So those yeah. are things you want to put in these stats and these like on this um, and the planner. There's a thing of like you can put on there like that post is gold. If I need to bring that up every six months. Boom, bring it up. But there's some things to kind of have accountability. Set your own goals but within the social media content of 
putting things out there. So hopefully that was, um, hopefully this was good. I don't know if there's any questions you guys have, um, but just I wanted to kind of have you guys start this year with thinking about one branding, organizing your content and making sure you're doing it and trying to find the easiest ways to help you get content to post. Um, again, I will do an AI um, post as well, just to kind of help you guys walk through that. I'm still learning some things, but my mind was blown. And so I showed Mary, I was like, let me screen share my, but my computer. She awesome. was like, oh, oh. So I was like, I can't train on this tomorrow because it's, it's a, just, there's, it's kludgy for me right now. But if you have started using AI um, for content creation, let me know. And if you are ready to train on it, please hop in it. Let me, let one of us know, but hopefully that was good. Have a great rest of the day. Um, stay tuned for next week. Beth Street, um, Beth will be, um, yeah, Beth, um, the 17th. Beth yes, the 17th. It's on Tuesday. So we're starting the, the detox challenge on the 16th. And then Beth is doing um, a training um, on the 17th. So stay tuned. Look forward to hearing any feedback from you guys about if this is going to help. Um, and then don't forget, fullyactivateyou.com. Password is become. Let's start sharing and using some of that content. All right, guys, I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you, Jennifer. That was Welcome, awesome. Bye, y'all.